Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series. And uh, in this video, we are going to discuss how to get rolling months. So basically, I have data for let's say a month, then I can display like using DHMTD. But what happens when I want to display, let's say for last two months data or last three months data so something like that i wanted to do okay now what i'm going to do here is let me first of all i have a calendar table uh, which is actually joined with my sales table and in that table i have this month here column let me drag that okay and let me also drag let's say net now what i want here is basically so you see this november and december let's say i want addition of the last two months and why, why i'm doing two months so that's simple that we can add and check quickly that is it uh, sounding like a correct number or not and then we can actually increase that number to whatever we want actually so that's what we can do and this net seems negative so what i'm going to do i'm let me take cross actually i manipulated data a few times for this series and finally we end up reaching as a stage where the discount is so much that the net itself has become negative but we are not going to take that so now we have a gross now you can see this gross numbers are there now what is happening here is I want the last two months cross and including this month okay so including this month if i want to cross so i should get these two and this then in case of january i should get january and december this is something which i want so for that i'm going to create a major now right now in this video we will uh, keep ourselves stick to the month hand basically so we are looking at month only complete months okay so for that we are doing because if we are not doing for that then there would be a little bit difference when we try something else Okay, for rolling it might not be different, but when we try rolling minus one or something, then there could be different. So let's try rolling month. So rolling gross two months. This is what we want. So last two months rolling, very simple. Calculate net. Now, sorry, gross we are going to take. Now what if we need here is we are going to use a function dates in period. Now dates in period what it requires is calendar so first of all it required date what is my calendar table here calendar date calendar table is my date table and calendar date is the date which i'm going to use okay now second argument which is required is start date so start date i'm going to start with the max now there are you can start with the min or max now if you start min in the context whatever the date is there the minimum of there you can give the positive numbers after that but because we want rolling of last two months it's better we start with the max so max and then calendar a date we'll take calendar date we're going to take okay so it means if it is number we reach to the last date of the number in in that context okay so if we, i'm here i'm going to reach last date of the number now what number of periods i say minus two because i want to go into the past and the month this is the arguments so these are the arguments and my major would be period. so rolling gross two is the major which i created and let me drag this a very simple it is you know uh, 8 84 and 46 it's going to be around 53 something like that okay now this is 44 40 44 43 40, 87 or 88 something like that again 43 44 87 88 something like that again this is same two months this is rolling gross two months now sometimes what happens you don't say or you say okay i need rolling but i need this rolling which is little bit uh, before let's say one month before it should end end by the last month okay and and they, here comes the difference because function which i'm going to use it here is going to be a little bit different if you are looking at the day level so what say average rolling till last month okay so till last month when i want so what i can do when it is coming max here now, if it would have been day, it would be very simple. I should have subtracted minus one and could have done with that. But it's not the case. It's month. So for that, what I'm going to use is EO month. End of month. So my start date is end of month. Minus one. And from there, you go two months behind. Okay. So this is rolling. Now, I still I'm going to get two months. But I'm going to go get, okay, this is not the one. Okay, we got it. Let's search. We are calling it average. No, we are not taking average here.
So we have done something wrong here. Actually, seems like we've changed existing major. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let let me let me copy this major, paste it, rolling two before one, and then in the max we want to do EO month. Minus one. Okay. So many majors have been created. Now let's do it. Okay. So now what is happening here is so uh, we got this now one behind, and this again, this addition is now you can see the same numbers are coming just a month behind. So means basically now we are adding still by you know adding the same stuff, but we are adding now by um till the last month end. Now similarly, what happens? Sometimes you say rolling twelve and twelve before that. So rolling twelve, you know now. Instead of two, you will say twelve. Now rolling twelve before twelve means you have to subtract this. Now, what what it is needing? See, this is last month. So if it is rolling two before two, means it should be exactly mutually exclusive. So what would happen? Like in this case, in this case when we are doing rolling, so this is December and November. Okay, so December and November. This is December and November. December is December and November. So I want to go to October. So minus one is going to take me to November, and minus two is going to take me to October. So rolling two before two, okay. Similarly, rolling twelve before twelve. Same formula, same logic will apply, okay. So rolling two before two is I'm going to do is minus two here, okay. So now the same stuff we can repeat. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Let me hide few things out here, so the numbers should be visible. Now what is happening? Now look at this number. This is rolling two. This is rolling two. Okay. Now this is again rolling two, but this is the rolling two. Now this is the rolling two which includes January and December. So what should include January and December then? If I am in March, then March include March and February. So prior to that should include. So this is March. This include March and February. This should be the. Number which is there in the January. Previously we have eight, eight seven nine one nine eight eight seven nine one nine eight. That's the number we're looking at here. So rolling two before two. So rolling twelve before twelve. Now in case you are dealing with the dates, then you have to use max x function and date add inside that because simply you can't use date add here. Okay, because you are using max on top of it. So in that case, what you are going to you are going to use max x calendar and date add instead of uh, doing this EO month. So then. Then, if you are dealing with even with the date level, day levels, it should work. So now comes one more interesting thing, which is average. I need average of two months. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, tell you the direct correct formula here. Okay. So now what happens? I can't take simply the average of the gross amount here. Okay. I can't simply take average of the gross amount here because The base major because that's at the line level. What I want is sum up till the month level and then take average. And the best way for that is, and I I don't simply want to divide by two because there could be some months with which doesn't have a data, and we want to handle that. So we are we are going to use is we are going to use average x here, average x, and we are going to say values, and we need to force a month here. So calendar month start date month end date month year month year we are going to force it here. And we say gross. So now we use average x month year, and then we will close this average x values we have pushed so that you know it should sum up till the month le year level, and after that average it up. So now this is what we got. Okay, and now let's use this major. Where is this major? Average rolling two months. Okay. Now we have to compare with this one. Okay, so now this should become exactly half. Okay, this should be exactly half of this one. This should be exactly half of this one. Eighty-eight. It is forty-four. Something is happening. Okay, so now this is the way you got the average. So when you want this average, now if you want average at the line level, then you you simply like say average of sales, gross sales. You want average grouping till a level. Let's say month level. So this is averages of month. This is not simple average. This is averages of the month value. So gross is getting added up till month level, and post that we are getting the average. 
So try this out. Do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.